What's up, everyone? Hi. Hi. Let's do it, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, we yeah. Are, uh, we're doing one more level, one more uh, bonus episode of... Uh, yeah, here's the deal. Gerard is leaving for, like, a long-ass time because he's a hero and he's going to two conventions in a row. I'm crazy. Yeah, he's dumb, but it's... it's don't you're, hit that yet. I don't think I want to. Wait, is this supposed to be... Is this single screen? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's like just like a slightly larger one. Uh, so we figured we'd try and do this. So either this will go as its own episode when Gerard is gone, or it'll go in the front of our uh, puns episode. So we'll see. But either way, we wanted to make sure you had a video for today. So you're welcome. You have all the keys. Easy. Oh. Damn. Damn, you you were, like, f much more done than you realized. Yeah, it's true. That's actually- this, this actually is not that bad. What is this? Oh. What? Turn on comments? Mario, I've hidden some helmets in the pipes on the ceiling. Good luck. Grabbing the keys won't be enough. You can use my flowers. Here, use these fire flowers. So you gotta grab one, yep. Sucks that he turns from, like, a cute, like, princess in a cat costume into a, uh... Into just, like, a sweaty plumber with worse, with worse graphics. I think you might be able to get past him. Oh! Smart boys. Smart boys. You're like Tia Tamara M Maori's little brother. Smart guy. He's a smart guy! He's a smart guy! <laughs> Yo, it's not it. I thought it was. Oh. I have to kill him. I have to kill the beast. You must kill the beast. Who could ever love a beast? A beast. <laughs> Who could ever love my bad prosthetic teeth? Who could ever love teeth like this? How are you supposed to do this without getting killed? I don't know. Boop, 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 boop. Does he reset his health every time? I have no idea. The answer is by standing on this. Oh, come on with that fire. <gasps> Yo. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a helmet up there. Right. Good luck, like, getting it and still having HP. That's what I'm saying. It sucks. Alright. Nice. Damn, dude. How many hits does he take? Takes a lot. Just gotta watch out for those big fireballs, because they, like, travel up towards you. This sucks because, like, he's just a... He's it's just I Bowser. Yeah, I, I can't do it any better. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I guess you can just, like, try hard it. I like Dark Souls it. Just, like, peek out, do a little damage, make a little love, get down tonight. I wonder if you're getting too far away. Oh, got him. Hoo wah! That got him. Woo! Da 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 da
Yeah! Yeah! How come we didn't do Cruising USA on the completionist yet? Uh, it's hard. I'll fucking cruise the USA with you, dude. It's a hard boy. You wanna do it? I'll cruise- I, I think I'll... I need to get a copy of that game. I used to have dude. it, but I don't have it anymore. Dude, let's- Let's, do let's get the Dreamcast yeah. version. Noofy! Dear Mom and Dad, Do you like pineapple on pizza? Please note, your response will affect my attendance at the Beard Bros movie theater. I mean, yeah. I like pineapple pizza, but not for you. Whoa, what does that mean? I'm not doing it just because he threatened me. Whoa. I just like the taste Whoa, of sweet with savory on my pizza from the dawn of time till now. Would I order it as the only pizza at the party? No. One or two slices, put a little jalapeno on there too? What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Pineapple pizza? I mean, yeah, it's great. Right? We're into it. Tabaku. Hey, I'm so damn big, and I made a Reddit for Super Beard Brothers. So when will P B PJ and B happen? Pro Jared and Beards, not to be confused with PB and Jeff. PJ and B. Perfect DX. P.S. I didn't know or care that you and JonTron were Arab until you mentioned it. You are both awesome. The Foch, too. So is Paul from Continue like Indian or something? JK. Hashtag normal boots. Yeah, are you Arab too, Alex? Um, no. I'm not. Pro Jared can walk into this office. Anytime any time he wants. Any, any fucking time he wants. And he can be on Beard Bros. He knows. He knows. He knows what he did. And he's going to. One day he's just going to show up. He's into, I, I can already tell the way that he was talking about it, he's into the idea of just showing up and being on the show, just like, he wants to be in like episode 30 of fucking L.A. Noir or something, just you know what I mean? show up for the Yeah, video. he just wants to like bop in and be like, what's up, I'm in this one. And we're like, yeah, you are, we said you could be. He's like, I know. <laughs> Derpy the Whale, if you read this out loud, I'll love you forever. There was peace. Inner peace. Who was he kidding? Peace was a thing of the past. President of the United States looked in the mirror and sighed. He carefully inspected his face, looking for anything out of place. This was the most important speech of his career. The most important speech of his life. He sighed as he plucked another gray hair from his combed black hair. Gray. The window behind him showed the crowd of people brave enough to leave the relative safety of their homes to see what would potentially be his final speech. He also saw the shockingly gray sky, now gray, due to a mixture of rain clouds, industrial smog, and thick smoke from the frequent fires and detonations. The sun was almost completely blocked with only a few rays trickling through the gray wall to barely illuminate the solemn city of Washington, D.C. The president had an out, at least. Many wanted him dead, so he'd ordered substantially less security on the stage with him. None were bold enough. He'd managed to hide an old but still functioning and fully loaded 45 Colt in his desk. No one but him knew about it. It was his contingency plan if his life was not ended during the speech. Death was preferable to the responsibility now weighing on him. He noticed a warning on the laptop to his left. It was hanging off the table haphazardly. He almost hoped it would break, sparing him from the constant stream of warnings of bombings and missile strikes coming to his once beautiful country. Japan had previously been thought of as a joke. What the fuck is going on? Everyone thought Miyamoto was a myth. Oh my god! But Alex wasn't kidding. He never was. It was a front. Japan had thousands of armed nuclear missiles. Guys. They had an air force larger than guys, the US. Guys, you see what you just did? This is your fault at home. In between its official air force and the navy. They'd even mastered the use of the sun's rays to detonate bombs, the likes of which no one had ever seen. It was unknown how many existed, but they had effortlessly destroyed well, while Alex Florida. Alex is reading this, I'm just at the next level. Only as a warning strike. The president sighed. Nuclear strikes didn't even warrant more than a short portion on news stations anymore. Brief lists of locations that had been bombed. Japan had managed to control the exact size of their explosions, and they were slowly eating through the U.S. bit by bit, toying with them. The president corrected himself. With us. Sir? His head of security asked nervously. She gestured down the hall. They're waiting. The president stood up, straightened his suit as he did so. They won't be for much longer. Thank you, Clara. She looks surprised. Sorry, Miss Pines. Sorry, Miss Pines. 
She nodded, her business-like demeanor shakily reasserting itself. Thank you, sir. The president walked down the hallway slowly, relishing every moment before he would step into the tortured air of his nation. His notes were in his suit pocket, firmly packed. Everything was in order. The doors opened. He stepped into the air, smelling the unwashed bodies of all gathered, mixing with the air acrid scent of pollution and the smell of burning that always seemed to persist no matter how one tried to rid one's senses of it. The president stood on stage. He didn't bother looking down at his notes. He knew the whole speech by heart. He cleared his throat, feeling the uncomfortable warmth of the cameras due to their crude heat tracking technology. He closed his eyes, taking a breath, thinking up every possible excuse not to have to deliver this speech. The cult was in his office. If he ran fast enough, he'd be there in a minute at the most. No one would stop him. And yet, he felt he owed it to his nation. He looked out at the frightened mass of people. Ladies and gentlemen, his throat grew dry. I, he closed his eyes. I'm so damn big. That done, actual question. Have either of you ever played the Mario and Luigi series? Oh my god. Bowser's Inside Story Are is my you? favorite. Hold on. You're not going to play that <laughs> off. You just spent a good six minutes of our lives reading that whole fucking thing, and we finally get to the end of it, and then it's like, by the way, real question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so damn big. Have either of you ever played the Mario and Luigi series? Bowser's Inside Story is my favorite game of all time. It's and I'm one of the best ones. How do you guys feel about the series? I love it. Sorry, it's not one of your Mario games, Miyamoto. This is bullshit. You can do this. I just want to point out this level is called Good Luck in 50 Seconds, but it starts with 40 seconds on the clock. Got us. What? Why are you dying? Because the game is airing out and think I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I need to like... I'm spin jumping, but like, it's not... It's not like registering it? Right. Is this just what's been happening this whole time? No, right? No, I, like, I did it twice. I think you're gonna have to, like, not hit the thing. What? <laughs> Great. Money, boys. Pipe? No? Oh, I fucked up. Maybe not. Still got 15 seconds. Get her done. Get her done! Get her done, baby! There you go. <laughs> that sounds great. Riku Masamune, since it's been so hot lately, I've been eating a ton of ice cream sandwiches. I always get the huckleberry flavor, but what's everybody else's? What is the huckleberry flavor of ice cream sandwiches? Huckleberry? Yeah. Huckleberry's just like a huckleberry. It's like a berry. It's like a pretty delicious berry. Tastes good with chocolate. Never had it? You know, I don't get it a lot. I don't I don't see it around a lot, but when I do, I always go for it. Huckleberry and uh, boysenberry are the two berries that I'm like, oh, I will always break for these. What's your favorite ice cream sandwich? Neapolitan. Like the classic, huh? Yeah, dude. The best ice cream sandwich that I've had in a minute was over at uh, Cool House. Yeah. I got one with snickerdoodle cookies. Yeah. And the ice cream was like black sesame flavored. Oh, damn. It was kind of like, it was interesting. It was like, it tasted like Asian peanut butter or something. It was really neat. It was really delicious. Get in it. Get in it. Pandar44. Hey, Alex, lately I've been watching a lot of movies. Are there any really good ones I should check out? Think of one that is less popular because chances are I've probably seen it. Stay chill, bro. Less popular movie? Go watch The Ninth Gate with Johnny Depp. It's an underrated movie. It's like Chinatown, but with like an occult book guy instead of a detective. Uh, what's another good movie? Another good movie. How about Blind Swordsman Zatoichi? Watch that movie. What that? Um, how about Inherent Vice from a couple years ago? That's a good movie. Uh, it's another good movie. 
Jeremiah Johnson, Robert Redford. Just watched that the other night. That's a good movie. Uh, yeah. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> those all seem pretty swell. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a, that's a broad, uh, I give you a broad range of movies to check out there. You know what I mean? Like, we got, like, a lot of the genres covered. You want a horror movie, too? House of the Devil. Get in it. You'll like it. Um. Excuse me. Does that say I'm so damn big? I'm so damn big. You know what? I never knew it until just now. Okay. But that's exactly how it should be written on a piece of paper, like, to explain the pronunciation. I'm so damn I'm big. I'm so damn big. <laughs> you guys going to go see the BFG this weekend? <laughs> oh, I the, big, finding Dory. the big friendly giant. He's so damn big. Check him out. Check this, him out. This is our last one. That's okay. Jared. Like, look, a, a small episode is better. Like, Beard Bros, a short film, is better than no Beard Bros at all. Can we call it, uh... Oh. Beard Bros Novella. Call it Beard Bros the, uh... Beard Bros Shorts with a Z. Indie film. <laughs> Beard Bros Searchlight. <laughs> Beard Bros Perina. Or Perna. Holy shit. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? I don't know, man. I think it's just about timing. Ooh, evil! Holy shit! That sucks. So I think the way that you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to like go from top to bottom in one movement each time, just like boop 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 boop. And then this time, I don't know what to say about this. Hope, hope for the best. How the fuck are you gonna deal with the last one? Oh my god, you were just like, easy, brother. Yeah, dude, that's what I do. No problem, bish. Oh, this is not Oh, fun. this is not tight. No problem for fucking the best fucking guy at Mario. Oh! God damn it. Didn't even see it. I had it in my hand. I'm so damn big. What, like, is the extra syllable that gets added to big? Question of the day. It's like, big. <laughs> it's like, it's so damn big. How do you spell that? Like, B-U-I-G? I think like, it's like, brig? B, it's like, B-R-E-W-U-G. Brig. Brig. <laughs> I'm so damn big. Had it in my so damn big. Had it in my hand, I'm so damn big. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to like whoop whoop whoop. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trick yeah, <laughs> yar, do it yar, do it yarn, <laughs> do it yarn. It's like the like unraveled version. The Yarny. Yarny, Yarn, Yarn, Yarn. Yarny is a great character. <laughs> Yarny is so well developed. Oh, shit. Eight mile bros, one shot. <laughs> that's what you call, that's what you call it when you only have one shot, super eight mile bros. All right, look out for that bullet. Nice. 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 Look out for those douche balls. That's really unfair, you guys. <sighs> That's your moment. That's your moment. Couple God life. Damn. Do you really want it? Do you really want it? Do you really want it? Cup of life. Ale, ale, ale. Why are you saying cup of life? That's what the song's called, isn't it? No, it's here we go, ole, ole, ole. Cup of life. No. Chris, 
if it exists, play a clip of that song that says Cup of Life. And if it doesn't exist, just play the uh uh <laughs> Okay, maybe like one of the inserts is, but Cup of Life is never said as like the main one. Isn't it the name of the song? Cup of Life? No. What is that song called? Here we go? Y probably. I think it's called Cup of Life. I gotta look this up. Do you really want it? Yeah, do you really want it? Cup of Life. Ale, ale, ale. Weird Man. It's spelled Weedman. Weirdman. 3214. Beard Bros, considering that good luck is a phrase very related to Star Fox, have you watched a fox in space? And if so, what are your opinions on it? I fucking loved it. I would watch that every day. I think it was fucking amazing. I think you're right, Alex. I think I'm wrong. What? Cup of Life might be the song you're thinking of. By Ricky Martin, right? Yeah. Do you really want it? So go and get it! I think it was called Cup of Life. Let's see. <laughs> Cup of Life! Ole, ole, ole. Ah, fucking <laughs> goddammit. Yeah, this, this is it. I didn't know it was called Cup of Life. You're right. You're right. You win. Don't really want it. Oh my god, I forgot that was a verse. You're right. We gonna celebrate the cup of life. All right, you're right. I'm wrong. Look, I, I know Ricky I, Martin. I admit defeat. I like Ricky Martin at least as much as you like Lou Bega. Had it in my hand. Don't talk to me. Jedi 907, what's your favorite funny moment and why is it Alex versus the Hedge Maze from LA Noir? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. I think I think that's the reason I hate Finbar the most of all. Is that he was just like, oh fuck, let me just smoke this cigarette. I have to say though, Finbar may be the best the, like the best that's like the best type of case we've been on so far. <sighs> the like serial killer one? Just those ones in general, yeah. Yeah, it was cool to just, like, be all caught up in the case and not have to worry about fucking getting stabbed in the back. Um, Lotad underscore, question to Alex. Have you ever thought that if in Pokemon... Have you ever thought that if in Pokemon, if whenever you use the Pokemon Center, the trainers you beat would also heal, it would be kind of like Dark Souls? Not saying Pokemon isn't already like Dark Souls. Of course it is. Yes. If you added the mechanic to Dark Souls that whenever you went to the Pokemon Center, all the trainers healed... That would be more like Dark Souls than the game currently is. That's correct. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number J. This is from the Sir Blondie. Mambo number J. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit of fighter bread in my life. Wait. A little bit of fighter bread in my life. A little bit of Kelly with the facts. A little bit of Patrick is all I need. A little bit of Alex, what I see. A little bit of Santel on the couch. A little bit of Wallace, all vid long. A little bit of Gerard, here I am. A little bit of Chris makes me your fan. Ah! You want to know some Big Bad Bosses trivia? There's a part in that song where I go, ah, in Eggman, and we took it out because it sounded too much like Lubega. Also, if you play Mama Number no. 5 on top of that song, it matches up perfectly. If you beat match it, it like weaves together. Cream. Cream, you guys. Cream. I wish I had like a, how do I, you know, like a, like a bell hops bell, like a bell that you'd put like on a desk. I wish I could go like, cream, ding. Cream. Cream. There it is. That's what I want. <laughs> I forgot that Gerard just has a bellhop spell. Cream. <laughs> Cream. 
Ask and you shall receive. Guys, it's been Maker Bros. What an unbelievable road we've traveled. <laughs> Rar Sand. Hey, are cool. you still here with us, people? What? Yeah, are you here? How are you doing? Rar Sand asks, hey, cool man, do you have any tips or maybe even tricks for how to be more cool when I'm around my friends slash family? Yeah, I do. All right. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Ray-Bans, put them on. Try and figure out how to make it so that whenever you say something cool, the Ray-Bans just fall on your face. That's literally what Alex does every fucking day we have a conversation. If you want, if you want a real tip, though, it's, uh, you know, let go of your own needs a little bit. Realize that everybody's a person. And, uh, you know, let them do what they do. You know? Don't try and impose your beliefs on other people, no matter how small. You know? That's how I feel. Still mad we never got this 10 second challenge one done. That's the kid that we met, right? Paul? He was like, I'm the one who made the Yoshi level. And we're like, fuck you, dude. No, I think it was a different Yoshi level. Is there any way to pick it up? No. People have been sending me videos of their times doing it. Of how Great. they did it. And it's just like... Kind of impossible. They just jump off it? Try and like jump, okay? Like, here's, here's my thought. Here's my thought. Jump and hit the apex of your jump. Like... Just like really like... Just like barely nudge yourself over onto the spring. So that it's like still a nice clean loop onto the spring, but off the top, off the top by the door. Like, doop, yeah, like that, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's going to give you the most lift once you come off the spring. Yeah, like that. It's just like a little bit hard to be accurate. Bam! You know why? There's not a single mechanic to my own game that I don't know, motherfuckers. God, fuck you, Alex. Oh, what? Fuck you. Circle Thank you wipe. for your help, but seriously, fuck you for that fucking mechanic shit. Circle wipe. Circle wipe this episode out. Questions. Questions. Nazo, Nazaku, Nozaku boy. To Alex, what are you looking forward to in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Uh, I want there to be a quest system using the Rotom. What? Are you reading these comments? <laughs> Steven is not happy. Hashtag let's do it yar. King White Falcon. Okay, I oh wait. Also shout outs to Beard Bros. I recently been wa going through your rut. I have recently been going through to rough times in my life and watching all your episodes of Mario Maker puts me in a much better mood and brightens my day. So thanks guys, keep up the good work. We got you, fam. I'll I'll, I'll fucking I'll fucking tell somebody off on the internet for you, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. King White Falcon. Okay, I just rewatched the Super New Bros for Mario Party 10, where Alex totally lost his chill. As Miyamoto, do you take credit for introducing that monstro monstrosity into the world? P.S. Will you guys ever team up with Matt, Pat, and GT Live again? When you did, that was easily the best GT Live ever. Um. No, I take no ownership over Mario Party 10. That game is a fucked up mess. That's unfair. Come after me. It's actually not the game. It's actually just Bowser mode. Bowser mode is for like if you've got like a toddler with you and you want him to feel included or like your grandmother But if you give it to somebody like Gerard who beats games 100% and beats games that where a guy hacks Mario to make it harder You're just fucking over the entire world. You're what you're like those guys that Alfred sees in Dark Knight Who just want to watch the world burn. That's who you're like Salt still so There's real for so Mario Party 10. Mm, Jesus so Christ. Much salt, you guys. And I'm not against going back on GT Live. If he asked me to go back on GT Live, I'll go. He's actually asked us a few times, but we just haven't been able to do it. We've been busy. Yeah. Jolly Rogers 40 to both Beards and anyone else in the room. La yes, that includes Wallace. What are your favorite video game soundtracks? Hyperlight Drifter. Secret of Mana. Oh shit. Final Fantasy 9. Final Fantasy 6. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. That might have the greatest single song on it of any game soundtrack. Snake Eater? The song's amazing. If I, if I had one dream at like a video game convention, it would be to like sing that song karaoke with a live band. I'm nuclear! <laughs> oh yeah, that song too. I'm what? Did you like the new song? Hello, Dankness. 
My old weem. <laughs> Dude, you're killing it with these today. Am I? <laughs> That's a great one. Hello, Dingness, my old weem. Weems. Softly memeing. All right. Guys, I love you guys. Yeah, dudes, we did it. We did it. We did it, fam. We did it, Reddit. We did it, subreddits. We did it. Jared, where Snapchat. are you? Where are you right now? Where am I? Mm -hmm. Like, in the where in the country are you right now? Uh, I'm probably uh, in Austin, Texas, for RTX. So if you're gonna be at Rooster Teeth convention, uh, you know what? Screw Rooster Teeth. Come hang out with me, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Okay, Yo, we know you came to a title convention to see Rooster Teeth. Just ignore them for 10 seconds and come say hello yeah, to me. Yeah, and your Beard Bros homework is since you're in Austin, which is the home of good food in Texas. Not that there's other, there's not other towns in Texas with good food. I never figured this one out. But Austin has some good, Austin has some good food. Please, your Beard Bros homework for today is to send me pictures of you eating food at food trucks in Austin. If you're at RTX, if you're wherever, I want some food truck food. Even if you're not in Austin, send me some pictures of you eating food truck food. Cool. 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 Gerard, have a good time in Texas. Thanks, man. I'll let, myself, I'll let you know how it's going. Ha J hashtag how is it, Gerard? It's fine. Hashtag how is Austin, Gerard? So He's a good dude. Love him. Love his Zelda months. Both the Austins. Both Austins.